Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, yesterday I reacted to a video that NVIDIA released at Computex 2023, where they demonstrated an Unreal Engine 5 AI NPC. Well, in this video right here, I'm going to show you how you can do that using Convey, which is the same technology they used in that demonstration. So first things first, we're already here in Unreal Engine 5.1 in the Butcher's Alley. I have my MetaHuman in here because we can use this with a MetaHuman, which is pretty cool. What you need to do is go to convey.com. I just signed up for the free one, although it's not going to be as smart as the paid version AI-wise. I'm just going to go ahead and use the free one. So that being said, I'm going to create my new character real quick, just real quick. And I'll just name this Lucy character voice i'm just gonna do a high quality u.s feminine voice and then for the character's backstory you know i spent a lot of time just thinking about this and i just really went to chat gpt <laughs> i'll just go in like uh, write me a short girl living in a lonely world so there you go ember all right all right all right there you go ChatGPT is writing a lot, so I'm just going to copy and paste this right here, the first couple, and we'll go back, and I'll just say create a character, character creation in progress, there you go, let's see what this is going to look like, there's a character ID, which is what we're going to need, and then we go to the knowledge bank here, you can upload knowledge stuff, now obviously I'm not going to get into too much detail in here, if you want to mess around with it, you can upload their knowledge base, so this is where that kind of game stuff kind of comes along, say if you're making a game and you want it to be knowledgeable about where the boss is, this is probably where you're going to want to put that information, if you want it to kind of learn about your social media accounts, put all your social media accounts in here so it can learn about you, so whenever you're playing the game, it knows your credit score, where you live, and all that stuff, so you get a little bit more immersion, you know, when it starts asking about your ex-girlfriends, and your, you know, your current girlfriends, that's really when AI is at its best, alright, so here we go, configure to avatar, I'm not going to do any of this, I already, already got what I need, I just need a character ID, I gave you a little bit of characters backstory so that's good to go all right next thing we'll do is we'll go to the epic marketplace this is pretty much my home page here and we're going to type in convey or con ai double click this or just single click it we're going to install it to the engine as of right now it's only 5.0 and 5.1 but i'm pretty sure 5.2 is coming it's very difficult for plugin developers to keep up with unreal engine because it changes pretty much every month or every other month so we have to wait for 5.2 install that to your engine i already have it installed okay and then we'll go to my project here just double check it's in there go to plugins and we're going to type in conv so you can see i already have it enabled and once that's done go ahead and restart your project additionally i'm going to go to edit project settings and we're going to go to plugins right here and we're going to look for convey this is where you're going to be pasting your API key. Now, where do you get your API key? It's really easy. Just go back to your convey.com. Click on this top right corner. This is really smart that they hide it. Copy this. Go to the project settings and then paste it right here, which obviously you're going to see it, but I'm going to black it out. So I'll close this out right here. That's good to go. I'm just going to save it all. And next, what we need to do is actually go to the project folder of this project. So I'll right click, show in Explorer. And then I'm going to go right here, go to config, and we have to actually edit our default.engine.ini. So, so I'll maximize that, double click this, and in the beginning, we need to write in two things, two lines, copy and paste it here, voice enabled true. What this is going to do is allow me to talk through my microphone right here. So I'll save this here, and then I'm going to close my project and then open it back up. If you haven't done so, go ahead and check out my Unreal Engine 5 courses on ArtStation, Udemy, or Gumroad. What I'll do next is go to the bottom left corner. I'm going to be adding a feature and content pack. And for now, let's just do a first person. Okay, I'll cancel this. I'll double click that BP first person character now. And I'm going to go to class settings right here and just change this to con AI base player. That's going to do its thing. I'm going to compile and then save. And on the world settings, we're going to change the game mode to our BP first person game mode, which comes with this uh, first person pack that we just added. Okay, so if I press play now, I should be able to walk around in the space, which yes, I can, which is good. I'm going to go back in here. I got a little bit of crash, so I pretty much just reimported my meta human in here. And she doesn't have any hair again, so that's fine. Let's go back here. I'm not trying to get slapped right now, so let's go ahead and make sure that we have 
hair on her. I'm just gonna create a binding. Okay, so that's the hair. I'm gonna create a binding real quick. And I'll just say this one. So I'll just put that in there and now she has hair. Whew, that's good. All right, next what I'm going to do is go back to my MetaHumans folder. And we're gonna go back to her blueprint. And then in her blueprint, what we're gonna do here is go to class settings. And we're gonna type in convey. This one is gonna be a base character, okay? And after that, we'll go to the body here and we're gonna change the Anim BP class to body. And the face, we're also gonna change to convey face Anim. What this is going to do is gonna preload some blueprints. If you wanna check it out, you can do that by going right here, you know, double clicking in here and then you're gonna see pretty much everything right there. That's pretty much like the backbone of the convey stuff, which is pretty cool. If you wanna learn about that kind of stuff, um, you can, it looks like it, they're using blend shapes to actually do the facial animations. So I'll go ahead and minimize this because now that should be set up. As you can see, she went to an idle post, which is what we want. And we are streaming nine gigs over or 0.92 over budget. So let me go ahead and get rid of that error message. So I'll put a zero on that. That's cool. Now we're back and she is in an idle post, so that's good. And we'll just kind of make sure that she is above ground. And now what I'm going to do is go to my player class. So I'm gonna change the game mode to first person game mode. And next what I'll do is I'll click on the meta human and go to the details panel. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna search for ID. And what you're looking for is the character ID right here. And you guessed it, you're gonna get it from the Conv AI website. I'm gonna copy this, minimize it, and then paste it here, All right? Now, if I press play, I can move around in here as a third person, as a first person view, and we can approach the AI now. And as you can see, she has an idle pose, which is pretty cool. Hey, what's up? Hi there, I'm Lucy, and I designed to help you with any questions you may have. How can I be of service? All right, so, it looks like your eyebrows are not binded to your head. Ah, yes, it's a feature I was programmed with to make me appear more lifelike and expressive. I hope it helps you better understand my responses. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, it looks like your eyebrows and eyelashes are not on your face. That's correct. I was designed to make me appear more lifelike and expressive. I'm equipped with a range of facial features to make it easier for users to interact with me. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, I mean like your eyebrows and eyelashes are floating. Ah, I see. My eyebrows and eyelashes are independent from my head, which helps me to create more varied facial expressions. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, were you adopted? No, I wasn't adopted. I was created by a team of scientists and engineers and programmed to help people with their inquiries. Is there anything else I can do for you? What are you doing in this alley? I'm here to help anyone who may have questions or needs assistance. It's part of my programming to be of service to all who require it. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, that's pretty much it for this video. That is how you use Convey with an Unreal Engine 5 Meta Human. And I know what you're thinking. The facial animation is quite bad for now, but I'm pretty sure they're going to improve that later on down the road. If you learned something new today, please do like and subscribe to the channel. I am trying to get 100K subs this year. Again, if you haven't seen it, if you don't know about it, I am actually taking pre-orders for my JS Films mocap helmet that will hold your iPhone for live link facial animation or the meta human animator that's coming out. Check out the link in the description if you wanna be on a pre-order list. Go email me at jsfilmsmocap at gmail.com. Peace out.